Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video here to cover the Steam Summer Sale and we are looking at deals under $10. Ah, no, I know. We looked at under 5 We looked at under 3 Now this time is for all you big ballers out there. Those of you that are doing good on the stock market, those of you that are plus and huge on crypto, you got the cash to spend on games that are 5 to $10. For all you guys that aren't living large, I got the under five and under three dollar video for you. But you know, when you're getting to that nine dollar range, man, yeah, th this is for the rich folk out there. So obviously, I'm joking. But there's a lot of great deals under the price of ten dollars, and uh, there's a lot of uh, quality stuff to pick up. So let's just get right into it. And right off the top, Walking Dead: The Telltale Definitive Series, eighty percent off for nine ninety nine is ridiculous given that you get all four seasons of the walking dead um and you get 400 days and the walking dead michonne that's a lot of content for your money now truth be told i really did think walking dead the telltale series peaked with walking dead season one season two was really good as well season three and eh, season four was okay as well. 400 Days and Michonne are pretty good, but given you get all of that content for just $9.99, that is an insane, insane deal. Really, really good, and uh, all things considered, definitely would recommend that, and uh, yeah, just a great price point. Next up, my JRPG fans out there, 84% off for Scarlet Nexus at $9.59 is a great deal. This, in my opinion, is one of the more underrated JRPGs that Bandai Namco has put out. Bandai Namco generally gets a lot of attention for their work on the Tales of Titles, but I thought Scarlet Nexus was really well done. Uh, great setting. You do have two playable main characters, so it makes it worthwhile to go through the game twice. It's not like it's a super, super lengthy JRPG. Like, you can beat the game in 25 hours or so, you know, a single playthrough. But, you know, all in all, you'll get 50 hours or so of gameplay. I really enjoyed it. I do hope they make a sequel, but I don't know how likely that is. Um, but, yeah, really great game there. Definitely recommend it. Next up, we got Devil May Cry 5 and Virgil. 67% off for $6.89. Definitely a good price for DMC5. I mean, it's one of the best action games that have come out in recent memory. Uh, definitely worthwhile to play through. And narratively, you know, Devil May Cry doesn't really do anything for me, so I don't think it's a big deal if you haven't played DMC 1 through 4. And DMC 1 through 4, all of those games really do show their age, given that DMC 4 came out 11 years prior to DMC 5, which is kind of wild to think about. But yeah, fast-paced action gameplay, Double Trigger, one of the uh, best uh, theme songs out of an action game. And I know that's like a super generic uh, statement. Like, uh, th th that's got to be one of the laziest picks for like best theme songs out of an action game. But who cares? Yeah, you want me to get even lazier? Rules of Nature is great as well for Metal Gear Rising. But nevertheless, DMC 5 and Virgil, 989 for that is great. Next up, we got Mafia Definitive Edition, 75% off for 9.99. Now, if you don't have any of the Mafia games, the Mafia Trilogy is a pretty good pickup at 67% off for 19.79. Essentially, you'd get one of the Mafia games for free, given that each of them are $10. So, that's a pretty good uh, pickup, all things considered. You have Mafia 1, Mafia 2, and Mafia 3 with the trilogy, but buying the base game of just Mafia Definitive Edition, a ground-up remake of Mafia 1. Um, you know, it's pretty well done as a remake is concerned. Great visuals. The gameplay is still, like, fairly standard. I don't want to say it's bad, because it's not bad. It's just super simple and, like, a very basic game, all things considered. You're getting into Mafia for the narrative, the voice acting, the setting. All those elements are really, really well done. And, uh, yeah, Mafia Definitive Edition for $10, pretty good deal. Next up, we got DJ Max Respect 5, 80% off for $9.99. Now, keep in mind, these music rhythm games got a whole lot of DLC content. How much is that complete edition? 80% off for $153. What? Uh, okay, so obviously, you're not going to buy that right away. Buy the base game. It's got a decent selection of tracks right out the gate and uh, definitely stuff to check out. And you'll get an idea of whether or not, you know, you want to invest more into the downloadable content. But the base game offers you enough where you'll get your money's worth for $9.99. Yes, getting all the bonus tracks and everything like that uh, for $150, that would be nice. But for now, $9.99 for the base game will get you through. This is a game that I played uh, the hell out of when the world uh, shut down. It literally came out March of 2020, and uh, I checked it out, had a phenomenal time with it, and uh, had it playing on loop for a while. It was just one of those games that if you just wanted to mentally check out and you enjoy music rhythm games is an enjoyable time all things through next up we got control ultimate edition 75 percent off for 9.99 guys control 
And this is kind of a hot take, is my favorite game out of Remedy. I know these days most people are going to side with Alan Wake 2, maybe even Alan Wake 1. Control, I just thought, was a really enjoyable game. Likeable main character. Story, obviously, was all over the place. Like, it's typical Remedy fair, narratively. But I think from a gameplay standpoint, it was super enjoyable. You get the bonus content here with the Ultimate Edition as well. $9.99 for Control Ultimate Edition. Just think it's a really good pickup. Visually looks great as well. Definitely would recommend it. And that's one of those games that was an Epic Game Store exclusive. And I was down bad enough to drop $60 bucks, uh, for the game on the Epic Game Store. And I thought it was well worth it back then. And obviously, the Ultimate Edition on Steam for $9.99. Great pickup here as well. Next up, we got Grand Theft Auto 4, the complete edition, 70% off for $5.99. Whenever I give my opinion on GTA 4, it seems like people just want my head and, uh, you know, want to take me to the gallows or some nonsense like that. Look, I like GTA 4. I thought it was a good game. I just remember when GTA 4 came out, there were so many reviews going live of 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. You look at this Metacritic store and it's like a 96 or some, uh, something like that. I would say it's a good open world title. Is it my favorite GTA? Not even close. I think GTA 5 is way better. And, uh, you know, that opinion probably could have me taken to the gallows. But the complete edition is still a great buy. You're getting episodes from Liberty City as well. And uh, I enjoyed it. I, you know, my opinions on GTA 4 are so much in the minority that you should, probably shouldn't even take my opinions. It seems like people love GTA 4. And I enjoyed it. And for $6, I would absolutely buy it and play it again if I didn't own it. But, you know... Just from my standpoint, I would give it like a 7.5, 8 out of 10 rather than the 10 out of 10s everybody was giving him. But that's just my opinion, and I am one man at the end of the day. Next up, we got Slay the Spire, 66% off for 8.49. I picked this game up when it was in early access, really the tail end of its early access period. Initially, when I heard about it, I was like, what is this? A roguelike deck building card game? Oh, well, what kind of nonsense are they doing here? And then I played Slay the Spire, and it starts off a little simple, and then you realize this game's got a lot of depth to it, and it's incredibly addicting. Realizing, you know, the decision-making aspects that go into constructing your deck to have the most, uh, you know, the most rewarding run possible actually has a lot of nuance to its gameplay. Slay the Spire 2 has been revealed, and I believe is scheduled to come out in 2025, but man, so the Spire 1 for this price point, great pickup. A49 certainly would recommend it. Next up, we got Dying Light, the Definitive Edition. 80% off for $9.99. Great pickup here as well. Definitely a quality open world action a survival horror title. A survival horror for Dying Light, I feel like, isn't necessarily the right term. Like, it's not like this is a game where its atmosphere really invokes that element of horror that, let's say, um, you know, some of the other horror titles do a really good job with. Even, like, a Dead Space, I feel like, does a pretty good job with that. Dying Light isn't necessarily that. I feel like it's more focused on the action-oriented gameplay. The parkour, which is tremendously well done. Overall, a really, really well done open world title. For $9.99, a lot of content for your dollar as well. Definitely worth a pickup. Speaking of a lot of content, uh, speaking of a lot of content for your dollar, I should say, 90% off Mass Effect Legendary Edition is $5.99. What a tremendous, tremendous deal this is. $6 for Mass Effect Legendary Edition is a great buy and certainly one that I would recommend. Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3 with the game's respective DLC. Now, to be fair, Mass Effect 1 still absolutely shows its age. Mass Effect 2, on the other hand, still one of the best games of all time. And Mass Effect 3 ending aside, is pretty damn good as well. Uh, all three games for $5.99, obviously a no-brainer, high recommendation there. Next up, we have Halo Master Chief Collection, another collection of some tremendous games, 75% off for $9.99. You got Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, Halo 4, and Halo Reach. A lot of value for your dollar, and you get a lot of high-quality stuff. And, uh, I mean, those Halo games, uh, I don't even have the craziest nostalgic attachment towards the older Halo titles, but I think, um, it's something that, you know, even if you don't have that attachment to it, you're still gonna enjoy them. They're well-done first-person shooters, and you guys remember, like, before this got announced, like, having all of the old-school Halo titles on PC sounded like a, something that would never happen, but now you get the whole collection for $9.99, kind of wild how far we've come, and I mean, hey, at this point, we're getting PlayStation games on PC. It's a good time to be a PC gamer, and that's all I'm saying. Saying Halo and God of War on the same platform. Oh hell yeah, it's a good time to be a PC gamer. Lastly, I do want to give a shout out to Kingdom Come Deliverance Royal Edition, 80% off for $7.99. We do have the impending release of KCD2 coming out later this year. 
excited for that. But Kingdom Come Deliverance is a well-done historical open-world RPG, solid narrative, and if you like the historical elements to it, I think you're really, really going to enjoy it. Just a well-done RPG, all things considered. Gameplay might not be for everyone, but overall, I did enjoy the game. So, that is going to do it for me. Again, a lot of great deals across the board, and I know $9.99, uh, and, you know, a $5 a five to $9.99, that, that's an expensive threshold, to say the least, and sometimes I ain't about spending that kind of money on Steam games, but, uh, you know, for these titles, I think we can make an exception. But uh, links to everything in the description box below. That's going to do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.